What's up everyone, Brian here again with another YouTube video. And in this video, it's a continuation from opening up the brokerage account with AMP and funding it. We're gonna talk about how to set up your CQG data feed in Sierra chart. And we'll also talk about how to place orders on the DOM. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so the first thing we have to do is go back to AMP's website at ampfutures.com. So once we're there, we can go to client portal and do clients login since we have a new account. So we can type in our username and password to get to the user dashboard once we log in. So once we're here, we need to click this platform setup button. And this will open up a new window. And this is how we set up our live data feed that connects to our AMP brokerage account. And also we can get a free version of Sierra chart in this, in this uh, page as well by following these steps. So first, typically since you have a new account, you need to do initial setup new, but if you're changing something that you've already activated, then you're gonna have to do existing setup. But let's do initial setup new, type in your first and last name, your AMP account number, and your email associated with that account number and the country, and the most important part of this tutorial is which data feed you're going to select. So if we click the drop down, we want to click Sierra chart dash CQG. And then you either can do CME, which will be all the equity indices that you can trade, like the S and P 500, the NASDAQ, Russell and Dow Jones. But if you want all futures data that includes crude oil, and a lot of other instruments, you can do the bundle for $15, but we only need the CME since we're trading equities. And we scroll all the way down. We want to get to this drop down here, which is asking us which Sierra chart version. So all we have to do is click package three, which is free for AMP direct customers. So click that and we'll click submit. And this will take us to the confirmation page that a live trading setup request has been submitted. And after you submit the live trading setup request, you should receive an email stating that your once the request has been processed, you should get an email from AMP saying that there are some live setup, live trading setup credentials to use to connect to your CQG data feed. So I'm going to show you just an example of the email that I got from AMP. So I'm in my Gmail account. And this is the type of email that you'll receive once your live trading setup request has been processed. It should say something like live trading setup instructions and it should be from AMP's trading desk. And you should have the data connection should be CQG. And of course you'll have your username and password that you'll have to use in Sierra chart once we get that installed to connect directly to the live data feed and your AMP account. After receiving our live setup trading credentials from AMP, Let's open up Sierra charts. So here's this one. So you should receive in the email for your Sierra chart platform login credentials as well. There will be two separate emails, one for the live setup trading credentials and one's for the Sierra chart platform. And you want to take the one for the Sierra chart platform and put the account name in here and then your password and then click login and let it boot up. So the first thing we want to do, you can see, let me actually disconnect my data feed right now. You want to click DTS, which is data trade service settings. And the service that you want to pick from the dropdown is CQG web API. And you'll see in the service setting and for the values, you will have a username and password and we have to put the username and password that AMP sent us in the live setup, live trading setup credentials email. So if we put in our username and our password here, we don't have to change anything else. And then we click okay. And then we can click the CON button up here, which is connect to data feed and make sure that this turns green for us. And that is all we have to do to set up for the CQG data feed connecting to our AMP account. And next up, I can talk about how to actually use, to put the orders in on a DOM and Sierra chart. Since I do my trading analysis in Thinkorswim, 
I'll first make a video on how to actually place the orders in Sierra Chart, and I'll provide the charting template to do that. Finally, yeah. let's talk about how to set up a DOM uh, with Sierra Chart so we can place our orders for trading futures. I provided a link to the chart book that I'm using that essentially just uses one. It has one chart in the background for NQ, but it has about four different DOMs, I believe, for CL, NQ, Gold, and the Micro NQ futures. Since I already have, if I, if I didn't have this already in my previous file list, what I could do is click Open Chart Book and make sure, you can click Folder actually, to get the location of where this is, so you know where to place that chart book when after you download it, which is in the description of this YouTube video. So you want to place the file underneath the data, which is underneath Sierra charts, which it should be underneath your main uh, C directory. So if I click OK, it should show me everything that's inside of that folder. And what I'm looking for is the one I just created, which is price level trading underscore DOM underscore setup. So I'll click open, you'll see, let it load. You'll notice that this is the only chart that I have. Since I usually have my DOMs on the, the uh, external monitors, just so uh, they can be a little bit longer and, and I'll, there's a little bit more room on them so I don't put it on my main laptop monitor. Let me just pull this guy over here. I'm gonna have to shrink it a little bit so we can get the whole DOM. So, I have a DOM here for NQ. This is the main mini, mini NASDAQ futures. So let's just go over what we're looking at. So it's a vertical column with the prices in the middle here. And then on the left, we have the bids. And on the right, we have the offers. So before we talk about how we actually place the orders, let's take a look at what's going on over here. So this is actually a have this this option selected right here which is open attach trade window to chart window which is essentially this little square right here with all this information on if i unclick that it un un uh, docks itself and i can move it around but what i want to do is make sure that it's attached so i can have access to it on the i usually just use the c tab which is the compact i'm assuming uh that's the compact version of this I never use the buy market, buy ask, buy bid, and the same for the sell. I always put limit orders in. I never lift an offer or uh, hit a bid. This is the flatten button. And just to show you exactly what that does, if I have an order, good thing I'm on SIM. Make sure you check that because I'm doing an example. Flatten will just cancel all my orders. And that does the same thing as cancel all, but the difference between flatten and cancel all is that if you're actually in a live position, flatten will get you completely out of your position. But if you hit cancel all while you're in a position, that'll cancel all open orders, but you'll still be in your position. In reverse, we never wanna use this. I mean, I'm not a fan of it, I've never used it. Reverse, essentially what it will do is, if you're long, you click reverse, it will flip your position and now you're short pretty much the same entry that you were long or whatever the best the best uh, bid price is at the moment. Let's take a look at, this is the quantity numbers of how many contracts we're gonna put on. You don't really need to have more than this, I would say, and it depends on your risk tolerance, but I just keep it simple, one, two, three, four, five, and then 10. Never use 10 unless I'm on micros, but um, this is essentially the setup that I have. And then this used attached orders is really important. Notice how I unclick it, that green box up there has gone away. So let me click this, use attached orders. And what this does, we have to go to targets. This is how we set up a bracket order, meaning once we enter an order, we already have our target and our stop to find. So as soon as we get filled, say at 87, it'll automatically have the stop placed 20 ticks below if we're long or 20 ticks above if we're short and the target will be 30 ticks away for a profit target. And you can set these limits here for the target and here's the stop. And you can also experiment with using, on the stop anyways, you can experiment with having different steps 
when you want to move the stop to break even. For example, how I have it set here, I have type set as offset and takes triggered. Once my position is up 16 points, which is four points on NQ, I will, this will automatically move my stop to plus four ticks. So I'll lock in a, a point of profit. So, and I just, before we, I show you exactly how to place the orders on the DOM, this set tab is just for configuring certain things like stop limit order, lock, uh, limit offset. I don't really use stop limit orders. Like I mentioned, I just use limit buys and sells but you can control this here for what offset you wanna use for that stop limit. And then the next thing to pay attention to is the quantity buttons. So you can configure that. And when you click C, whatever you configure at the quantity buttons will show up right here. So let's look at an example. Since I'm on SIM, I'll show you guys actually how to place an order. Say I wanna go long at 86.75. So I put an order. There you see I have a limit buy here, and you can see that the stop is five points as it should be below. That was my stop loss and my target is automatically set. You can see that it says one here because that's an active order, but the, the target and the stop loss say zero until I'm filled. Just because this might take a little bit, this is after hours trading, let me just go long at the market, wait till it fills me. And then I'll just show you what happens once I get filled to the other orders. So now that I'm long, it'll tell me my current position, how many points I'm up. You can see I'm already down three ticks. Now I'm down one tick. You can see now that this, this is an active order right here at 82. That's my stop loss. And then my limit sell to get out for a profit is all the way up here at 95. So, and you can actually click these orders and drag them where you want them to, to be reset. So it's fully, fully interactive and you can drag the stop loss up to where you want. And if you're using this chart, the reason why I included this chart template, because whatever instrument you're trading, you should set it on the chart because you can actually move the stop loss where you want it on the chart as well, which is incredibly handy. If you want to say you want to add a trailing stop, you can place it below the lows in an uptrend and you can place it above the highs in, an, in a downtrend. Since I am in a position, I want to get out of it. But what happens if I hit cancel all on accident? Like I said, it'll keep you in the position and now I don't have a stop and I don't have a profit target. So I'm, tr I'm trading naked right now, which is really, really dangerous. No stop loss, but say I wanna get out of it, I just hit flatten and that'll take me out at market. And you can see I just lost almost two points. It's about 35 bucks for one contract. So that's how you place orders on the DOM and how you can configure the DOM as well for position sizing, how to set up OCO orders, and also how to move the stop loss and the targets on the ladder and on the chart. So if you guys have any questions, you want to know a little bit more about this, if, you if you're stuck, just let me know. Let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to help. If you guys found any value with this video, we appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do. We're gonna be sharing a lot more valuable videos besides just trading platform setups. And we hope you all have a great day. Talk to you all soon. Bye.